Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop. This is a early Sunday morning update. Uh, I'll have a more detailed video coming up later on this afternoon, but this is just a quick update to let you know what's going on with Tropical Storm Debbie. Looking at the map, there it is, the satellite imagery showing the storm uh, getting much better organized with about 60 mile an hour sustained winds now, uh, with the core off the uh, coast of uh, Fort Myers, Florida, uh, to the south southwest of Tampa, Florida. Let's take a look at the uh, regional radar summary, and uh, there you can see the center of rotation now uh, is due east of uh, almost uh, Sarasota, uh, Florida, and moving off toward the north at about 14 miles an hour with 60 mile per hour winds. And the um, National Hurricane Center has the system moving off to the north. Looking at the forecast for the tropics right now, there's another tropical wave uh, that's going to be moving into the Caribbean Sea later on um, uh, this week, but it should be of no concern to us. But it might affect eastern portions of Texas later on next week. Anyway, uh, here's the forecast of, of cone uh, for Tropical Storm Debbie, which might become Hurricane Debbie. And uh, uh, the system is expected to make landfall sometime early morning Monday in and around the Florida Big Bend area, then curve off to the east-northeast and then slow down its forward speed considerably as it moves across uh, south central and southeastern Georgia, meanders around the coast of uh, uh, upper southeastern Georgia and into southern South Carolina. This is Thursday here uh, in, in the uh, as it goes into the Beaufort area. Yeah, Thursday morning, about 2 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, uh, it's going to be around this region for the next several days. Uh, looking at the uh, uh, advisories for uh, the region, uh, well, across the country, but let's zoom in on the region right now. All kinds of advisories going on. Uh, of course, hurricane watches and warnings in effect for the Big Bend area of Florida. Uh, tropical storm warnings in effect as well. Uh, a lot of uh, tropical system uh, conditions for our area too. Uh, uh, flood watch is in effect for all of our viewing area of southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina into central portions of Georgia, almost all the way up to Macon and up into Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, this is for tomorrow, basically, as heavy rains will be moving on in. And then here we have local uh, statements here, and that's from um, the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service, rather, uh, from Charleston, South Carolina, uh, Jacksonville, Tallahassee, Columbia, South Carolina. Anyway, uh, these are hurricane local weather statements, and uh, it is very detailed of what's going on. And expect to see the rains to be extremely heavy uh, beginning tonight, but particularly tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, going into Thursday. And the term heavy rains has been changed with historic rains. Uh, rain totals could exceed 20 inches in several locations and might be even up to 30 inches before all said and done by Thursday morning. But uh, a, a lot of uh, flood watches in effect and heavy rain effect, uh, uh, warnings are in effect. Also, uh, tropical storm, storm watch is in effect for the coast of Georgia into southern South Carolina uh, due to onshore winds. Uh, that'll be coming on shore. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, conditions uh, across the uh, from the National Hurricane once again center. The uh, storm itself is expected to become a hurricane um, overnight about two o'clock in the morning it should be a hurricane south of the Big Bend area of Florida making landfall uh, sometime between sunrise and two o'clock in the afternoon Monday and then again curving across southeastern Georgia uh, into southern South Carolina as a strong tropical storm. Uh, so that's going to be producing some very strong gusty winds as well as the extremely heavy rainfall. And that's going to be uh, presenting a major problem because uh, the grounds are going to be totally saturated so the trees won't have as much holding power. Uh, so any strong gusty winds and squalls that come passing through, possibility even of tornadoes as a, uh, when the system is on Tuesday and Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, uh, will be in that northwest or excuse me, northeast quadrant of the storm, which is the more dangerous area of the storm. And uh, short-lived tornadoes could uh, actually pop up in the squalls. And so there's going to be a lot of tree damage as well. And with that, we're going to have uh, road blockages and most likely power outages as well. And uh, with the extremely heavy rains, that's going to cause issues with the uh, uh, flooding and 
possible street washouts or road washouts. Uh, excessive uh, rainfall rates are expected from Savannah up into the Charleston Myrtle Beach area uh, by uh, the next couple of days with this system moving in. It goes without saying uh, a very uh, uh, strong possibility of excessive rains into central Georgia and central South Carolina, extreme southeast portions of uh, North Carolina, uh, with uh, the chances uh, still quite strong across uh, central Georgia, almost up into the Atlanta metropolitan area. Now, I want to show you this map here. This is the rainfall expected uh, rainfall totals or quantitative precipitation forecast, we call it. Anyway, this purple area uh, is over Savannah, Hilton Head, Beaufort, all the way up into almost the Charleston area. And this purple area is 20 to 30 inches of rain. This dark red or burnt orange color here, that's uh, 16 to 20 inches of rain. And that covers all of southeastern Georgia and eastern uh, South Carolina, all the way up to the north of uh, Charleston, almost to Myrtle Beach. And the red area, that's anywhere from uh, 12 to 16 inches of rain. That covers ex all of the ex uh, southeastern Georgia uh, into the south central portions of Georgia and northern portions of the Florida uh, area, uh, the Florida panhandle uh, region. Anyway, uh, these rainfall uh, totals are just uh, unbelievable. Historic rainfall totals possibility. Uh, right now it looks almost likely. Anyway, I want to show you one other map, the, um, uh, the tide data um, over here. We've been watching the uh, tide and it's been tamed. The, the, the moon is at apogee right now, which is the furthest distance from the sun in its orbit, so it's less lunar effects for the tide at the moment. Uh, we only have tides riding up to about 7.6 feet, uh, maxing out around 8 feet, uh, and then uh, continuing on that. But look, let's take a look at the uh, forecast for the tides and tide calculator here on my webpage, savannapat.name. Uh, I'll get the tide data for uh, coastal Georgia, Savannah area. And there we have it. Uh, the tides aren't that bad. Uh, 6.5 in the morning, uh, 7.3 to 7.5 in the afternoon, uh, actually early evening, um, 9.40, uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and so forth. Uh, but the winds are going to be on shore, and that's going to cause some issues with the tide. It might bring it up to around 9 feet or so. Um, flooding usually doesn't occur until around 9.8 feet. So fortunately, the moon is in a favorable position where the tides won't be extremely high, but high enough where this very heavy rainfall that will be falling uh, across our area will be uh, significantly impacted by the tide, less drainage, uh, so keep an eye on that. So I'll have a more entailed update coming up later on this afternoon. I just wanted to get you, let you know about this information on the morning cycle. I'll have the afternoon cycle coming up, uh, and it looks like uh, the rains will begin late tonight in the greater Savannah area. Uh, late this afternoon in the southern portions of Georgia and then early Saturday morning into South or Saturday morning early Monday or Monday morning into the South Carolina counties and then will persist for through Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday with periods of extremely heavy rains well I'll keep you posted stay right here on my Pat's weather and nature YouTube channel and on my Facebook page uh, Pat's weather and nature Facebook page I'll have a lot of additional information there as well as you can see. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later on this afternoon.